Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to focus on trigonometric functions and there's going to be six of them that include sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. Before we jump into this acronym that we have here for this six trigonometric functions right here, let's have the location of the opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent in a triangle. So we're given this angle theta right here. Anything that is across the angle is called the opposite. So I can go ahead and label this as the opposite right here. And then anything that is opposite or across from the 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse. So I can label this as hypotenuse right here. And then anything that is next to the angle is the adjacent. So I can go ahead and label this as the adjacent side. So I can go ahead and rewrite this as opposite. That's how we're going to use, uh, that's how we write the opposite. That uh, hypotenuse can be shortened this way. So that's, um, that, that represents the hypotenuse. And adjacent can be shortened this way. And that represents the adjacent. So in this acronym that we have here, it says Sokatoa Kaushacho. We remember that these two are partners and then this next two right here are also partners. And then this two here are also partners. What we mean by partner is that they are reciprocal to each other. So what does this mean? That we have sine is actually equal to opposite over hypotenuse cosine theta is actually equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now we have here the, uh, we have here its reciprocal. Cotangent is actually adjacent over opposite. Now as you can see these two have been flipped. And then sha here represents the secant is equal to hypotenuse over adjacent. So these two have been switched. And then the cha here represents the cosecant. And then that's hypotenuse over um, over the opposite, which was being switched. So I can go ahead and write all this um, on this side right here. Okay, so going back to the formulas that I wrote here, this represents the so. Sine is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Cotangent is, again, these two are partners, so I put them next to each other. So cotangent is equal to adjacent over the opposite. Secant is um, hypotenuse over adjacent and cosecant is hypotenuse over the opposite. By the way, this is cotangent and this is secant and this is cosecant. Um, that's how we shorten them. It's just like the sine right here and the cosine and the tangent. So cosecant is shortened CSC, secant is SEC, and cotangent is COT. Now, another formula for this cotangent, secant, and cosecant here, since they have been flipped around, we can go ahead and rewrite this as. Now let's have some examples right here. So let's take this um, triangle right here. We are supposed to determine the six trigonometric ratios for the given angle, which is theta. So we're going to start with um, sine theta. So sine theta that we have here, remember, it's so. So that would be opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of this angle is 24 so i can go ahead and write 24 over the hypotenuse is 25 so this is sine theta now if i want the cosine theta that would be remember cosine would be ka so that would be adjacent which is 7 
and then the hypotenuse, which is 25. And if I want the tangent theta, that is toa. So that would be opposite, which is 24, over adjacent is 7. Now, if I want the cotangent, so it's going to pair up with a tangent. So cotangent theta, so that is socatoa cow. So that would be adjacent over the opposite. So our adjacent is 7 and then the opposite is 24. So as you can see, they were just flipped around. Now if we want the um, secant, so that would be um, secant theta right here. Remember, so katoa cow sha. So that would be hypotenuse, which is 25, over adjacent, which is 7. So as you can see, the fractions have been flipped. And then the last one here would be cosecant, which is represented by cho. So that would be cosecant theta right there. Cosecant theta is equal to hypotenuse over the opposite. So our hypotenuse here is 25, and then the opposite of this theta is 24. Again, as you can see, they were flipped. So these fractions have been flipped around. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!